Hi everyone and welcome to the first episode of FIS Alumni on Spotlight. And for this episode, our guest is no other than the Model Student Awardee of Batch 2020, my very smart cousin, Kuya Renz Gutierrez. So let's give him a hand. Woo! <laughs> so hi, Kuya Renz. First, I would like to congratulate you on passing Kaist University. So how do you feel about this achievement? Uh, well, uh, first of all, thank you for congratulating me for this accomplishment. Uh, I'm very thankful that I was given the chance to study in Kais University, uh, which is actually one of the top universities in South Korea. And it really warms my heart that I was able to achieve this dream of mine. Uh, I'm also very grateful to the people who helped me in order to make this happen. Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay. So for our audience to know more about you, please formally introduce yourself and tell us some things about you. Uh, okay, so hello again. My name is Renz Gutierrez and I'm an FIS alumni from Batch 2020. I was studying in the ICT strand back then and currently I'm taking computer science in the University of the Philippines, Diliman. Uh, although in the next semester, I'll be transferring to Kaiser University as mentioned earlier. Uh, you may also know me as one of the video editors from FIS Media Team and also as part of the par- as a member of the parliament in school year 2019 to 2020. Yeah, I was also part of that. I miss parliament. We have so much activities <laughs> that day. Okay, so now I'm gonna ask some questions soon. Okay, so are you ready? Uh, yes, okay. yes. First question, how long did you study in FIS? Uh, I started studying in FIS in grade 11, which was around in 2018. So I guess my length of stay in FIS is two years. Uh, ah, okay, nice. So it's major short, pero I'm pretty sure you had fun, di ba? In FIS. Of course, okay, of course. Nice, nice. <laughs> so what do you miss most about FIS? Uh, what I miss most about FIS is how small the community is wherein you're able to identify uh-huh. who is who and you're familiar with the people that you meet every day, <laughs> every day. Uh, in college, you don't really know most of the population because, as you know, people yeah. uh, came from There's different high schools. Yeah, and they also came from different locations. So, yeah, that's one of the characteristics I miss about FIS. <laughs> Uh, so you like miss the small community because in FIS are only few and you know everybody yes. and in college in, there's so much people you can't recognize all of them. <laughs> yes. Hi. Next one. Um, what was your favorite high school activity and why? Um, my favorite high school activity was during science fair, especially in grade 12. And this was the time where Robot Wars was introduced for the ICT. Ah, yes! Robot yeah. It was when we had to make robots then push uh, our opponent robot outside the ring or either, uh, you know, destroy them. But of course, we didn't destroy robots for the safety of uh, those watching around the ring. Uh, yeah. During that time, we didn't really know much about robotics, but I was really glad that we got this opportunity because as someone who didn't have any background in robotics, it made me appreciate more uh, a whole new spectrum of computer science and artificial intelligence. And this also led me to join the Bangkok uh, the Ro- International Robotics Challenge held in Bangkok last year. And yes, in that competition, we won Bronze Space. Ah, congratulations again. <laughs> Wish all. <laughs> Aye, <laughs> next question. Um, How did studying in FIS prepare you or help you for college? Like, is the Cambridge curriculum helpful to apply like for a good university? Um... Uh, Actually, in FIS, they have various methods in order to help their senior high school students in in preparation for college. Uh, I remember that in when I was in grade 12, 
FIS invited various speakers uh, for seminars uh, to talk about career paths and also planning for their future. And this is one of their way, uh, one of their ways in order to help their students uh, prepare for college. And as you know, FIS also has teachers who are very considerate of their students and guide them towards the path we want to take on. Uh, for example, mm. in in my case, when I was in 12 ICT, our advisor Ms. Sunshine often had these one-on-one talks wherein we uh, addressed our concerns and our problems and she helped us guide and overcome these problems. Through these talks, yes. Uh, so like one on one meetings like that, right? Yep, yep. <laughs> we had those uh, around like after each semester and she uh, was very helpful to our development. Ah, uh, okay. So that's nice. Uh, I also the... had that in like, I uh, know. Okay, you go ahead. Sorry, sorry. Oh, you go ahead. It's okay. It's okay. No, no. You're not being interviewed. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> Uh, so, for I'll move on to the next question for the Cambridge curriculum. Okay, for in that, for the Cambridge curriculum, I think that it was really helpful because in my applications for universities, especially the ones abroad, because it is actually one of the basic requirements that they need. Uh, you will see it in their admissions page, wherein you have to achieve a certain score in order to enter their university, and uh, the. These, my A, S, and A level scores actually helped me get in Kais University and also in University of Toronto in Canada. Uh, you showed your academic credentials to these uh, universities, and it gives you a uh, an advantage against other applicants, which is really helpful, especially in highly competitive colleges. Okay, so you had an advantage. <laughs> nice one, yeah. nice one. Okay, uh, next question. What are the advantages of studying in a small school like FIS? Uh, well, like I mentioned earlier, it's uh, studying in a small school and it allows you to, ha- to recognize the people you meet every day more. Yes. And uh, that is actually... Uh, wait... From my experience in FIS, uh, mm. most of the students and teachers actually have a good relationship with an, an, one another as they know each other really well. And in class, there isn't this feeling of discomfort when you're learning because the students are very familiar with the teacher's teaching style. Yeah, they're very comfortable with each other. Yes, and additionally, since FIS is only a small school, when you need help, in a certain topic, you can just approach your teacher in these topics in order to get the help that you need. Yeah, I also do that sometimes. I, I always ask clearance for help sometimes. <laughs> 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 oh no. Okay, no, next no. question. Um, what values or life skills have you learned in high school which you now apply in life? Mm. Mm, wait. Okay. Well, one thing I learned from high school is being street smart. And this does not literally mean being knowledgeable in the urban environment, but instead it's being able to apply all the information and knowledge we obtained from our textbooks into action. Uh, in FIS, they provide you various programs held within and outside the school, which gives the students opportunities to showcase their talents and skills. And this allowed us to apply what we have learned in our classrooms into the outside world. And after realizing the importance of this skill, I have since then applied this in everything that I learned. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Nice answer. I like your answer. Okay. Uh, last question. How are teachers and students like in FIS? Um, uh, how in what sense? Like, in the relationship or how, yeah the relationships uh, between the students and teachers or like how are they like how do they teach like are they good at teaching mm, like that uh, i think 
both the teachers and students in FIS, as I've said, uh, are very welcome and heartwarming because I remember when I first came to FIS in grade 11, I was actually anxious because that I'll not make any new friends because they already knew each other a lot. Uh, but this opinion of mine immediately changed as the first day of class showed me how much of a hus- hospitable environment FIS is. And the teachers were very accommodating to their students' needs and the students were very friendly towards the newcomers. That is why I'm very grateful that I met a new family by studying in FIS. Okay, so thank you, Kuya Rents, for sharing your answers with us. I hope to gain more experiences in high school like you. Idol, idol Kuya Rents. <laughs> okay, now I hope you are familiar with Fast Talk. You're familiar uh, with it, right? Yes. Okay, so I will be throwing in some questions and you have to answer all in just two minutes, okay? Okay, okay so let's start. Three, two, one go favorite sports uh volleyball uh, favorite subject uh can i answer two two subjects or only one favorite so only one favorite uh, subject <laughs> computer science favorite spot in fis uh mac lab studying in fis in one word fulfilling wow FIS community in one word. Supportive, support. Advice to current students of FIS. Oh, uh, okay, wait. Uh, so advice to current students of FIS. Uh, I know that some of you may be uncomfortable with the current setup, especially in online learning. It's all new yeah. to us. But all I can say is that I hope that you continue to strive through these hardships because at the end of the day, all of your hard work and dedication will pay off. Okay, message to those who would like to study in FIS. Oh, well, to those who would like to study in FIS, uh, you're very welcome to join our community and I ensure you that by studying here, you will not just learn a lot of things, but you will also meet a new family who will take care of you greatly. So touchy. Shout out to your batchmates and friends in high school. Oh, okay. Uh, shout out to my... Uh, batch batch 2020 I know we didn't have a proper farewell party or a proper graduation ceremony but I hope that all of you are doing well in your respective universities and uh, it truly is a blessing that I was I was able to meet a great bunch of people uh, I miss you all and I hope that I see you guys again in the future okay so that was great nice answers you already finished the fast talk so, thank you so much for your time again, parents, and I wish you all the luck in college, and we are thank proud you. of you. Yeah. So, see you in the next uh, episode.